Hi lovely ladies, I am here with a video today and this is a um I would say a reveal and um a review on one of my purses and um I'm sure you saw the um the um you know the description I'm sorry I lost it there for a moment and this is for my Tivoli in the PM size and um, I have never done a review on this one and since I did start using it a couple days ago I said you know what why not and just go ahead and do a um, review and I'm sorry my lips are so dry right now um but I did the switch from my favorite in the MM size and you ladies um, if you follow me or if you have watched my videos you would have seen the unboxing to my favorite in the MM size. Um, I am going to do this weekend a review on what fits in my favorite in the MM size. I did have one of my followers here on YouTube Miss Lady B, one of my favorite YouTubers, ask what um what's in my purse video, and I'm going to go over that and what fits in the favorite MM and all that. I did use it over the weekend, um, and for um, a few days after I bought it, I was very ill. However, and I just didn't get a chance to do a video. I needed a bigger purse because I was going to be doing some things this week, so I ended up choosing to use my favorite in. I'm sorry, my Tivoli in the PM size. And here it is, enough of the talking, and I am sorry, I just kind of went off um, on the talking, but um, this is my Tivoli in the PM size. I am currently using it, as I said, I started using it approximately two days ago. Um, I did used to have up to recently my... Um, uh, the Tivoli in the GM size. However, I opted um, to stay with this one instead. I had them both. Um, I had first purchased this one and then um, I decided um, I wanted the GM for whatever reason. However, the straps, the um, the handles, not the straps, the handles, um, were too uncomfortable for me to put them on my shoulder. Even if I crossed the handles like this, they would fall off my shoulder shoulder and I just it felt uncomfortable it would hurt and I am not saying that will happen to everyone but for me it just didn't fit my lifestyle so I decided to part from it I never did a review on it um, this one I hardly ever used and as you could see the leather on this one the Baqueta leather is very very light still um, and um, you know, I've, I've had it a couple years now. The only thing with this one is you want to be a little bit careful with the corners. And I don't know if you see this. I, It's it's not... It's kind of like um, it has like a little bit of color transfer from the jeans, I would say. But um, it's not much. I'm thinking with the baby wipe, I can take it off. It's just I haven't done it. Um, I don't really like to use too much um baby wipes on my purses just because it'll dry up the leather so unless it gets any worse and it's really not much i i probably just won't do it but other than that it's it is in mint condition and really the the camera makes it look like it's a lot more than what it really is it's almost nothing and i don't know maybe it is because it is kind of dark in here but um as you see the leather is in mint condition and um you know from the handles and the leather in general and this one was made in usa And the date code is in this pocket here, as you see there. Um, and um, I am currently using it, as I already mentioned. And I have quite a bit of things in there. And I will go over that right now with you ladies, since I am using it and I have the time. I do want to record another video today um, comparing the favorite in the MM with the Poche Assoisin, the new model. I had a request from a friend in, in, on Instagram, and since I am um, have some free time today, I might just do that. Depends how I feel about it. 
um, but um, let me go with what I have inside. And um, bear with me, ladies. I know that I am not in the best spot right now. Um, but um, and as you ladies know, if you have been watching my videos, I am still currently in my mother-in-law's basement. We're looking to gladly move the end of this month in October. So I'm really looking forward to see how the house came out to be with the whole remodeling and everything. Um, I have my um, poche accessoire. And I am using it currently for, um, I have some, um, lotion in there, my lip glosses, um, some scissors for work. I am a nurse and this is where I cut, like, the gauze, what I cut the gauze with. Um, cards of where I work, um, more lip glosses, um, my eye drops for my contacts. I have the tags in here still, and I will probably put those here on the side. And so yeah, so I have been using this, and um, the only reason I have been keeping it in there is because I did sell my um, makeup um pouch it was one in the azure and since most of my purchases are in the e bean with the red interior i was kind of scared that it was going to do some sort of color transfer so i sold it and i'm looking to buy hopefully within the next couple weeks the one on um, the monogram or the e bean um so i am using this one in here and since this is brown and i don't think it's going to do any color transfer um i'm trusting it <laughs> Um, I do have my iPad mini and this is the one that came out before the air um, and I keep this in here especially if I do go to appointments with my kids and my little son he has his own but I take mine um, just because um, I don't want to carry all these and I have my personal information there in case we stop somewhere and I need to use the internet for whatever reason um, I do have my clay in the e-bean and in here I am carrying my um, car keys and this is my older clay I did do an unboxing on a new one a new, newer, new one in the a bean um, but I am using this one because I don't want to scratch the little pieces on the new one um, yet um, I've used it here and there if we go out for a night just to have a new one in my um, clutch or whatnot but um, I have my car keys in here I am carrying my Emily wallet today and um, I've been using it ever since I bought it. I think I've only switched to my um, clay, the new one, a couple times when I've gone out at night with my husband and I've put my cards in there and whatnot, important stuff that I actually need for the day. And um, I have been using it and it has four card, card slots and you can actually fit um, two in one slot very easy and I've done it already so um you know I'm just letting you know that I am actually due for a review on this one I said after a couple weeks um of purchase that I was going to review it and let you ladies know how it was working out <coughs> um and I will do all that this one was made in France and um I will go over it um, hopefully this weekend if I do get a chance. Other than that, I just did the switch, so I'm not carrying much more. I have a coupon here. Um, um, I have a card in here. I do carry my, um, iPhone 6 Plus in here. I am recording with it now. Um, and, um, my headphones, which were in the poche, but I used them earlier, so I just kind of tossed them in there. Um... I'm sure this purse will get heavier as the days go by and I am using it just because I um I am the type that will just keep tossing things inside for now it's a little organized but um you know I just wanted to show you ladies um a review on this one um I do recommend it I think that if you are going to choose um between the both um this is a better um purchase it's um handheld unless you're very thin and your arm you know if it's all the way to the top um thicker 
<clears throat> but um the other one will get too heavy and really it will just keep rolling off your shoulders and you'll end up carrying in handheld but of course some women don't mind for the gm and they'll carry it ha you know handheld or in the crock crock of the arm and um they just like big purses i love big purses but just that one seemed a little too much for me just because these purses seem to be more structured they're a little more heavy than a regular speedy 30. um you can put as much as a speedy 30 in here and it will still keep its shape the speedy 30 will sag from the bottom and this one really won't maybe just a, a tad tad bit but these purses are so well structured that they keep their shape and they are more expensive but it's really worth having um one of these tivolis i really enjoy having my tivoli and um it's really one of my favorite purses from louis vuitton as far as hand carried um here it is ladies my tivoli pm in monogram and they only make it in monogram um, if you ladies have any questions about anything in particular, let me know. Um, you know, this is a really great purse. I really love this here. Um, I love that the brass pieces are very sturdy and thick and really um, seem to be, you know, well done. Um, kind of like how the older Louis Vuittons were and um, that's the thing about paying a little more for a purse especially um, like a Tivoli um, a, um, a Trevi just because they're well well made they are more expensive but they will last much longer than a regular Speedy at that and I mean I have nothing against Speedies um, I have a couple myself but you know I'm just saying um, I hope you ladies enjoyed this please subscribe to my page please um, like my videos please leave any comments below if you ladies um, need more information about this purse please let me know and I will be more than glad to help you ladies I hope you ladies have a fabulous evening and God bless goodbye ciao Wow.